look, we're in France. Our group has been called. Ooh la la. So we are off to go. <laughs> but before we get into line, hey, we're going to the restroom because I'm smart. I'm smart like. Okay, guys, it's time. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Let's get in line. Last time we came through here, it was dark and peaceful and nobody was here. Now there's lots of people here. I have a suspicion that even the virtual line is long. Okay, it is 4.37 and I'm getting into line now. Dinner is at 6. I hope I make it out in an hour. I'm not sure because this is quite a bit of a line. standing only about a half an hour away because I think once we go through we go into the building and we go back out there and outside so yeah it's a lot of queue line I was group 86 but now birdie groups 88 to 8, 82 to 89 so I came in a little bit late to my group thoughts on the sleeping beauty show no um storyline no the sing-along was fine. They didn't do full songs, but they did enough of the songs, if you know them, that you can sing along. Storyline? Uh-uh. Don't buy it. Sorry. No. Don't. Sorry. End of... No. No. But other than that, it was nice that I finally got to see it. I'm glad it filled the time for getting into here. And now we're going to just have some fun and explore the new stuff. Thank you. That initial spot, all of that queue over there was just to get you to tag in. This is now the queue, which is why the gentleman looked over here and said it was about a half an hour. So yeah, that's where we're headed. We've got a ways to go, but at least this section is covered. So if it started raining, you wouldn't have to run out alone. I hope I don't get sick, because I'm going right to my dining reservation after that. Ah well. If you guys are having fun, tell me, what, what ride are you most looking forward to with the 15th anniversary? What have you seen or what would you like to go see? I'm curious. Actually, I was thinking about that and I realized that would have been curious. I'm curiouser and curiouser. You can name that movie, that Disney movie, put it down in the bottom, in the book, in the comments. Whoops. Now you can actually see me. Put it in the comments. Hi. We're outside in the back of the boat. A friendship boat. They did say we can take our masks off if we want to. I may or may not, because I'm still sitting there looking for boats for people. But we just saw rode the Ratatouille ride. I'll give you my thoughts about it a little bit later. It's lovely out here. I love it. Thank you. Flying fish, I miss you. Flying fish, flying fish. <laughs> Soon, hey Disney, open flying fish back up. It's still 75 degrees, but without the sun, you just feel the cool. So you can see from here, beach club and yacht club. So yacht club is gray, but the rooms are really nice, and the beach club is blue. And I'm told the rooms are not as nice, but that's just from what I've been told. I haven't stayed there yet. So, anyone want to put me up in a, for a day in the beach club or a day or two? Hey, I'm not going to say no. I mean, I probably won't say no. So now we get to see me at the boardwalk. <laughs> um, so I've stayed at the yacht club. I have stayed at the boardwalk. I've not stayed at Swan and Dolphin, and I've not stayed at beach club yet. Whoops. Here we go. Shula's for dinner. It is pretty out there, isn't it? So that's the new hotel, the reserve, that just opened. And the swan is behind us. 
and we are headed to the dolphin. With the big mahi hot mahi known as the dolphin fish. No, here's the other thing. Of course, now I'm out of the Disney bubble tonight. So instead of staying within property, when I leave Epcot tonight, I'll probably go out to one of the resorts out here. I'm going to have to take an Uber from resort to resort. And that means I'm out of the Disney bubble. You know, now I'm, I'm on, in the hands of whoever the Uber driver is or the Lyft driver is. So it changes how you, it changes how you, you react and how you, uh, the choices you make. So, um, tomorrow morning I get to meet my friend for breakfast at Boma. Well, actually she's gonna come and pick me up, but she's not getting to my place till about 10 a.m. And I do have to call down to the desk when I get in and let them know that she will be coming in to pick me up. Um, I took it really slow today. I mean, I I had plans for so many other things and trying all the foods and all of this and all that. And I wanted to keep it mellow, keep it gentle, keep it slow. And I think I think that's worked. I think it's gonna work. Um, it's because I can get to the parks more frequently. It's not as big a deal. But I did. I love test track. I love soaring. And I love living with the land this time of year. So I am hoping I get to get some of that in there for you. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do like a fast one or just edit some of the footage. We'll see. I want to make sure that I'm recording it, but that I am not um, getting into people's faces. You know what I mean? Or letting my light on my camera reflect like where people can enjoy it. I'm, I'm, I am picky about that. It's just, it's inappropriate, you know, to spoil somebody else's magical experience because you want footage. You know, it's, you don't. If there's any way around it, you don't do it. So. Yeah, Western Poetical. This is the Manhattan talking. <laughs> um, lovely day. Lovely day. Oh my God! So I follow uh, one of the. I follow a number of Facebook groups. One of them is the Walt Disney World Solo Travelers, is Walt Disney World for Adults, and I have posted in a few of them. Well, I'm standing in line. And this woman in front of me was having an issue with her outfit and I, she wasn't aware of it and I mentioned it to her. She thanked me, we just started chatting and I realized suddenly she wasn't standing with the group in front of her, which is where I thought she was. I thought it was like they were together. And I went, oh, uh, is it just you? She went, yeah, yeah, it's just me. And I went, oh, okay. And so I said, I'm also by, just by myself. She went, oh, really? Did you know this is Facebook group that you should join for solo travelers? And I went, as a matter of fact, yes, I do. I posted there yesterday. Here's the post I did. And her post was right after mine. She, she and I just happened, without realizing it, standing right next to each other. Um, had a lovely chat walking through the line. It made the half an hour or 35 minutes that we stood in the line go so quickly. And, uh, and we rode the ride. We were a party of two suddenly instead of single parties of one. Finished the ride and headed on our way. It was lovely. It was very sweet. So Angie, if you were watching this, thank you. Thank you for such a marvelous time. And Colleen and the husband I forgot the name of, thank you. Thank you for a surprising and lovely and, and fun conversation. These are those magic moments that you cannot, you cannot put them into words. You it's pretty. It's pretty. I'm seeing people wearing some serious jacketage. I love these lights.
Thank you very much. Have a great night. We're at darkness. We're at darkness. We're at Epcot. Hey there. We are going to head over to Living with the Land since it is dark out now. And those holiday lights are amazing. It's the magic of the 26th of December. All the people who came in for Christmas are leaving today. All the people who got their gifts of Christmas presents are coming in, in to my, today and tomorrow. I love your chair. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's the, t we, the tires are all lit up. Uh, but all the people who came in or are coming in for New Year's are on their way with very few exceptions, like me. So this is the sweet spot day. If you can only hit the parks one day, or if you are looking for the most important park for yourself, December 26th of the Christmas week, that is your sweet spot. So I'm gonna mask up, get through the crowd, and let's see you in the ride. So many people at the wall have already staked out their spot for Harmonious, cause this is one of the better views. It's a Christmas ball. So many pretty things. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. Make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa. Thanks to this. This is all the plant. Christmas overlay. So, look at the lights. This is just so pretty, and this is just done for the holidays. Christmas reindeer. Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in Florida. But in Northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. This is so pretty in person, guys. They say it's better to give than to receive. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. Give them better protection from disease. Oh, normally up at the top it says Epcot, and now it's saying 50th. That's so cool. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. Is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. I like the chemical tree. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer. Hey there. Hear fireworks? We just finished soaring, and we are headed out. That's harmonious. Now there's still about seven minutes left of the show. We're over at the Imagination Pavilion right now. So we're gonna walk with speed and alacrity and see if we can catch anything from the front of it. I'll talk a little bit over the fireworks right now. Oh wait, we might hear something in a minute. Yep.
this is from the front. Last time I saw it from the back. closer is pretty impressive. Oh, did you see the heart? Oh my god, I didn't see that last time. Yeah. And they start coming from the lands as well, all the countries. Well guys, that was the end of the fireworks. We are headed out the International Gateway over to the beach club. And the crowd is starting to go down enough that I feel safe I can do this. What a beautiful night. We saw Soren. We caught the end of the fireworks. We did living with the land with all the Christmas lights. Just a beautiful experience. A beautiful, wonderful experience. Hi guys. All right, so we just had the most amazing Uber driver. His name is Robert. He, uh, on his regular days, does the electrical work on Animal Kingdom. And uh, on his off days, does Lyft and a gazillion other things. And we talked theater and we talked Cirque du Soleil and we talked art and it was amazing. But now we are at the Parc du Soleil timeshare and we're ready to go into our room. This, I think, is the, oh, this is the small side. I'll explain in a minute. Now, we're ready for the excitement. Here we go. Oh, it smells amazing in here. All right, I'm gonna put the bag down, put the mask off, and I'm gonna take my shoes off. So now, we're gonna give you the tour. Welcome to the Parc Soleil. So when you walk in at the front door, pardon all the stuff I just dropped, you have some lovely art. And then you come here, you have a full stove, microwave, and oven. You have a toaster. You have a cabinet. And this is set up for, I think, up to eight people. So we've got four glasses, four wine glasses, four plastic glasses, all sets of fours cooking utensils, like corningware, etc. You have a uh, full dishwasher down here. Down here we will have a fire extinguisher, paper towel, sponge, all that good stuff so we can wash dishes. And a second thing of the uh, soap. Great collection of knives. Oh, wow, that's not well done. Uh, can opener, measuring sticks. Oh, and we have a uh, corkscrew built in. They used to not do that. Thank God they've started to. A melon 
baller. Another corkscrew. Look at that. We have the queen of corkscrews here this year because they know me. <laughs> yeah, this is just a very thin cabinet. Don't know why. Okay, so, um, and then over here, more plates and cups and all bowls and all that good stuff. And we have a Hamilton Beach and the uh, pre-filtered thing so we can fill it up and start it. And it says, oh, you scan the QR code and it'll tell you how to run the coffee maker. Um, also, I've brought some stuff with me. Hopefully we can use. And we have a two-door refrigerator with humidity control and a bottom load freezer, which I will... Oh, look at this. Wow, I feel like I want to cook in here and do stuff in here. I don't see any ice yet, so I'm going to have to make ice. Let me come into our living room. Up here we've got... What time is it? 11 o'clock. Here we've got the living room. Come, these are new. These are upgraded, the chairs. This feels really nice. And you've got a nice cabinet here with shelves because that is a pull-out sleeper sofa. That's a big size sleeper sofa too. That's gonna be impressive. We don't even need the people for it, but this is like, yeah, see it's a big sleeper sofa. So that, I, that feels, looks like it would sleep even more than two. Um, you've got, I'm gonna save the balcony and I'm gonna, let's go into the second room. Second bedroom and That's the fan, okay. Basically, this is what we had when Flame and I were here last time for the both of us. But now she's got her own sink, her own shower, her own toilet. Everything here is just for Flame. All of this, just for Flame. It's awesome. This whole side here itself sleeps too. She's got her own soap stuff, scrubby stuff. We've got another thing of detergent for the machine. She's got her own mini fridge if she doesn't want to share with me. We've got gobs of coffee. She's got her own closet over here. She's got a phone. And the difference is that she does not have a balcony. We have a view. I don't know which fireworks we get here. They said we had a fireworks view. I see a glow in the distance, but I don't think that's Epcot. And I don't think it's Magic Kingdom either. I gotta figure out which fireworks we get. Okay, we're gonna keep walking. But so this is her room. So these two kind of share temperature, etc. I'm opening her area because it's warmer than mine. So we want that to be comfy. Um, we have, oh wow, they've upgraded laundry. There's two packs of laundry stuff there and she's got another one in hers. So that means we can easily do three things of laundry. Then there's the separate, sorry, hold on, the separate toilet room here. So if someone needs to just use the toilet, they don't have to come into the bathroom because these doors slide shut so you can have privacy. And then you've got this tub and you're going, but Michelle, this tub is sitting in the middle of the room. Because up there, that's where the water comes out. We'll show you that later. But here is my sink. I've got sinks, plural. Um, huge amount of space. And if I had known it was just going to be the two of us, I might not even have gotten the extra bedroom. But it's fine. And I've got this massive shower for me. Because master bedroom and all that. And then we get into the actual bedroom. Which you can't see. I also have a ceiling fan. We have the beautiful light up there, king size bed. She's got a queen size on her side. Look at this funky chair. Look at that with the armholes in it. I'm gonna need to sit in that. That's just awesome. And then for the pièce de résistance, we get to go outside. Unlock the lock. We're up on the sixth floor, so I'm not quite sure why you have to do that much. And then you've got a table with four chairs, and you've got, oh my God, <gasps> look at this, guys. Oh, this is, that is Magic Kingdom in the distance, because if you look there, that, my dear, hold on, let me see if I can focus. Whoop, no, up there, focus on you. That's not focus. Come on, focus. 
that's the Epcot ball changing colors in the distance, which means the fireworks are gonna be right there to, for Epcot, and they're gonna be, see that glow? That's Magic Kingdom. We're gonna have awesome fireworks here. Both sets of fireworks here. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's the Orlando Eye and I Drive and all the fancy fun stuff there. This is an incredible view. I, when he told me they uh, were able to accommodate it, I was like, but which fireworks do you see in the second building? Oh, you see all of them. Oh my God, this is great. I mean, higher view, sure, would have been nice because this stuff, but wow. And all of this was nothing last year. I mean, they have so built this land up. We're gonna get someone in to drop off my luggage and we're gonna relax in this glorious space. If you haven't done so already, please remember to like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to see all the rest of the content because there's a whole lot coming more. That was not good English-like. And uh, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?